Um, my name is Pei Pei Yang. Yeah. Oh. oh, sorry. And um, I'm a fifth, fifth year right now in uh, civil engineering and architecture. Uh, and my name is Bo Johns. I'm also a fifth year civil engineering and architecture major. Tell us about your research here. So, yeah, okay. So, we fortunately received a grant to do a research and design development on the Bethlehem Waterfront Park project. And um, as you can see from the main board here, um, our focus is to reunite the disjointed north side and the south side because we think that there is a large discrepancy between the two and it's very necessary to draw the focus back to the center of the city, which is the river, and we can bring in more business and that way um, we can gradually reunite the both. Right, and we wanted to look at ways that we could revitalize the riverfront um, after the departure of Bethlehem Steel. Uh, the, the riverfront has been very underutilized and uh, there's a lot of opportunity for redevelopment and we wanted to look at ways that we could bring a connection along the riverfront, not only on south side, but between north and south side of Bethlehem. So talk about the two pieces. Right. Um, so as a design team, we, we wanted to propose two, di two different individual designs. Um, the first design um, over here, we wanted to look at ways in bringing the connection between the two sides um, with the idea of, of bands running uh, horizontally and um, vertically. Um, so bringing a lot of green space into the area, but also utilizing paths and bridges to connect both sides. Um, so along the riverfront and then from south side to next to Riverport um, with an elevated pedestrian bridge and then a pedestrian bridge um, only for pedestrians and for walking from the riverfront across the river to the north side. Um, and a lot of trees, a lot of vegetation, a lot of grass um, to bring that green element back into the south side. And um, as for my design, after the research we discovered that there is a large population of young families on the north side, so we thought it would be a good idea to draw a lot of that kind of user groups into the waterfront area on the south side. So my design started off with envisualizing what people will be doing, which is their activity sequence on the park. And based on the sequence, I designated different programs and put it on the park um, so that different groups of users could be utilizing them in a different way. And um, this area is for young professions which they could be in more like intimate level. So it would be blocked by taller buildings and forest. And this area is the main center of the park, which is um, an amphitheater that will draw most of the users to. And this area is um, for family and it's more open so that kids can run around. And hopefully by um, creating this sequence, we can draw similar, I guess, business type into the surrounding areas and that way um, you could actually boom the area in that way. So um, tell us what did you learn through the research process? Uh, we learned that the north and south side, while part of the same city, there are a lot of differences um, and part of our research was looking at ways that we could connect it um, could, or bring together both the sides um, and looking at ways that other cities have done it to use those as reference um, to what we're, we're trying to do here in, in Bethlehem. Did you have any stumbling blocks along the way? Um, I think I think really looking at ways that our designs really affected what we were trying to do, um, to tailoring what we wanted to, to do with our designs um, to actually affect the change that we, we researched, that we saw and make it happen. Earlier we were talking about different designs that um, influenced your theory questions. Talk a little bit about that. Um, so we looked in particularly the Greenway, which um, through a recent economic studies that we looked at, it showed that it actually increased the business along both sides. So we thought it would be the Greenway, even though it differed from what originally it was designed, but it served as a catalyst, as Bill mentioned earlier. Um, it could really urge people to rethink how um, the area could be reconstructed and how economic and cultural all these things can be regrouped and reconnected together. Good. And you both went together on a grant proposal? 
Yeah, we, we applied for the, the grant together. Um, uh, the, we, we got the, um, the Stroll undergraduate research grant uh, through the College of Arts and Sciences. Uh, and we're able to do the research, do a little bit of traveling, and also build our models um, with, that, with that funding. So what's next for both of you? Uh, I think we're both looking at um, maybe going to grad school or, or working, working as architects um, or as, as engineers um, next year. And so you're both engineers and architects? Yes, we are. Are you both in the IDEAS program, or no, it's just a combined degree. dual dual degree? Yeah, so we're, we're both getting the, the dual degrees in the five-year program. Tell, tell me of the value of the Stroll Grant for your research. It really opened up our understanding in like urban design and how cultural and economical, all these things can impact on not only like daily life, but also just design in general. I think it also allowed us to, we were both really interested in this idea of affecting change in an area. Um, and while we did some of it in our classes, I think this gave us the opportunity to, to really pursue what we were looking to, to learn more about and to, to do more design um, outside of the classroom. Could you have done this research without the Stroll Grant? Uh, no, no, probably not. Not in this big scale. Yeah, we, we were able to really do what we wanted and what we thought was neat, necessary with the money and with the time that we got from, from this research grant. And how much time did you, was allowed with the, with, along with the resource of dollars? How much time on money? Yeah, so when you get the grant, you're applying for some money and some time? Well, we only applied for $3,000 and we could spend that much money in a certain duration of time. So, mm -hmm. so we had a, from when we got the, the actual funding, we had a year to to do our research, to complete our designs, and then present it back to the arts and sciences um, the college. Great, so this research is in addition to your coursework? Yeah, it's all, it's all um, majority of it was outside of our, our general classes. Mm -hmm. Good to know. So, any other words for other students who should pursue, perhaps, uh, outside research? I think, in general, it, if you have an opportunity, if you have something you're interested in outside of your classes, the I, um, and specifically the arts and sciences with the Stroll Grant, really gives you the opportunity to pursue those ideas and just pursue those desires. Um, again, we really would not have been able to do this without the, the money that we got from the Stroll Grant. Um, and if you're, there's something you're interested, find a professor that can help you um, and really pursue it. Because um, it's definitely, at least for me and I know for Pepe, um, it's really added to our overall college experience. So any words for your lovely professor? Yes, he was very helpful. Who was your professor? Our professor was Hong Tae Jung. I can't really pronounce his name correctly. Sorry for that, HT. We all H call him HT. And he's very dedicated. And he gave us very constructive advice as to how our research can go deeper and how our design can be expanded. Yeah, without him, I, I didn't really know about the, the opportunity to do outside research, and he really pushed us to, to do this together and to, to expand our academic horizons.